Mortar Platoon Sergeant Randy Shorter has always led his men by example. And July 30th, 2008 was no different, even in the face of an enemy ambush in Afghanistan. We were returning to base from an overnight mission we had in, in a four-vehicle convoy when we came on an attack. The first vehicle, an armored MRAP, struck a powerful IE, which ripped it in two, seriously injuring the men inside. The initial blast, it uh, raised the MRAP's front end at least 10 feet in the air. Just rose up and just stood in the air for a couple of seconds and just immediately just smashed down. But the MRAP's it's a pretty big vehicle and you're in shock because it's such a big vehicle and you never think an ID could rip it in half. I mean, the truck compartment, the engine compartment and the truck basically just snapped in half. Basically just blew out through. They say it was one of the biggest IDs known to record. An ambush of about 30 enemy fighters began hitting the convoy with machine gun fire and RPGs. Sergeant Shorter immediately called for medevac helicopters and then sprinted across 100 meters of enemy fire to the damaged lead vehicle. He immediately just ran out to see how his shoulders were doing. Uh, not regarding his own safety, he just immediately just took off and just assessed the casualties. It was pretty amazing. Shorter single-handedly carried one soldier 75 meters through enemy fire. He and wounded medic specialist Gregory Waters got all three crew members of the vehicle to safety. Anybody who gets out of their vehicle under fire and can go and save another man's life with bullets flying all around you, that is living up to the warrior ethos. This his mindset was just focus on his guys, just without just doing anything possible just to make sure that his guys are okay no matter what. Bullets flying everywhere takes a tremendous amount of courage strength and honor to do that. Sergeant Randy Shorter received the Silver Star for his actions that day. His platoon, he says, is like his family. Well, I feel honored to serve under Sergeant Shorter. He's been like a mentor to me. He leads by example. I mean, someone like an E7 platoon sergeant, at someone at his level to get down, get his hands dirty, and actually help you with the job, I would say he's an amazing leader. As a leader, we had a responsibility to take care of our soldiers. My men were not only soldiers that day, they were my brothers in arms. I'm Sergeant First Class Randy Short. They may be ordinary people, but the simple fact is that they do extraordinary things. And that's why we can say that they are faces of strength. <laughs>